in this example we'll be running a 100 year storm over our Hell's Canyon area using Git map area and to do that uh, you need to determine the precipitation frequency for um, our point here in Arizona, Hell's Canyon and that you can do by going to this website up here hdsc.nws.noaa.gov slash hdsc slash pfds slash okay and let's click on Arizona um, and this is your data description you want the precipitation depth partial duration um, now you can manually enter the centroid of your basins latitude and longitude or we can use this map here which is real handy uh, you can zoom in and out and here's our Hell's Canyon right about here and to find out the latitude and longitude for that area you need to click on this X and drag it drag it, drag it, drag it and it's right about there and when you release it it'll uh, insert your latitude and longitude and do the lookup for the precipitation frequencies and your point, point precipitation frequencies are in your table here starting from five minutes all the way down to 60 days we'll just run a six hour storm and that's uh, typical of these desert uh, areas. Typically this short thunderstorm durations uh, are what uh, produce the highest floods. Okay here's uh, the hundred year recurrence and so we need this data. Let's start with 15 minutes and we need the 1.36 on down to the six hour. Okay so let's start up uh, get map area and load back our uh, our file and here was our area we had a we computed digitized an area of 18.8 square miles and the stream length of 33,942 with 17,711 below the centroid. Okay, now when you uh, we can go to runoff hydrograph uh, which I already have here and you can enter uh, the upper elevation which you can use Google Google Earth for lower elevation of that stream stream length uh, stream length uh, below centroid and now we're in miles because we are not doing it directly and once you click in this area it'll compute the slope for you uh, estimate a C to be used in your lag time calculation and compute the lag time 1.89 um, if you you can always change this C or this lag time to anything any way you want to calculate it and here's our basin area now here's the storm duration for our six hours. We're going to be doing a 15 minutes uh, time step. Um, so 0.25 hours is 15 minutes and you enter your your, dips, uh, your storm depth. So we would had a, uh, a storm with 3 inch, 3.08 inches over that hour. Now you can reduce it since these are point uh, frequencies. You can just click there and it'll adjust these points to 18.8 .8 square miles by these factors. Okay, let's select a dimensionless graph. Let's go with the SES. You can use any of these methods, but let's go with the SES for now. And we need to arrange uh, these increments, uh, 15 increments in a fashion. Let's just start out with the, let's start out with average. What if it just rained uh, the average to every 15 minutes to get three inches. Uh, let's put in a loss of 0.3 so we don't lose all our lose all our rainfall right off the bat. So you can see what's going on. Okay, 0.15 comma 
constant loss, percent base and impervious one, 15 minutes, time step, and we're set to go. Compute hydrograph. And see, this is the average distribution of that rainfall. We lost a little. That 0.3 inches was lost there in the initial loss. And then constant losses, and over here is the rainfall intensity. And you get this hydrograph. Uh, now let's change this uh, storm arrangement of these 15 minute increments of excess to none. And compute it, and you can see that the highest uh, is assumed to occur the very the very first step. And actually the highest is missing because we lost it to losses so we can let's try another pattern. Let's let's um, that was not let's go to peak at uh, where should we, let's do a peak at one third. It peaks early. Compute hydrograph and now we get the yellow hydrograph here. And so you can see how they're distribution of these rainfall increments. See down here you lost some here for the constant loss and then your uh, highest increment, 15 minute increment, uh, 1.36 minus the, your 15 there. You get that, uh, that excess. And let's do a uh, two-thirds just to show how this changes things. Compute. Now you, you can see from uh, no from average to none to one third to two thirds centering of the how you want to distribute your storm, and that's about it. Oh, let's do a routing while we're, we've got time here. Let's just let's route it for an hour, and we'll use uh, Tatum's travel time just. All you need is how long you think it's going to travel to the, your point of interest and hit go. And that's this, uh, well, let, let's clear and start all over. Let's just clear it. Here's our increments from our data. Uh, we're going to go the peak at two-thirds, compute hydrograph, and uh, let's route it. Travel time, 60 minutes, go. And there's uh, the blue is our routed hydrograph or let's go with this. Let's go with a modified pulse storage. You don't need anything there. Just say go and it'll prompt you for a rating file. You'll have to look at those examples to see what's in them. And that produced the yellow. Um, and let's do a Muskegon routing just for comparison. And let's go with an hour K okay, and 0.25 go. And that's the violet one back here you can see. Okay, that's about it.